end of the dark when we take them in order. I uh, put, uh, I want to talk about yard sale permits. Something to do with the recycling center. And that we, and uh, it's for the future. And, uh, state law. Well, we need some sort of document. You know, just the ordinance book. They tell you about the state. Like, uh, of course, the board of education is done by district. And that's the way they set it up and approved. You know, done by the councilman from each district. You didn't have to stay with the district. Right. Then you got uh, the zoning board, which is the mayor's board, and I'm supposed to put people up for it by according to approval by the council. Then all the other boards are put up by the council. You see, there, in Kevin's information uh -huh. that I struggle through, <laughs> that anybody right. would have to struggle through, uh -huh. we have a Keep Leads Beautiful Commission. I don't know anything about that. I've never right. heard anything about it. Uh, or we supposedly. Um, we have um, a downtown redevelopment authority. We have an industrial development board. We have a tri county industrial development board. We have a special care financing authority and an environmental protection board. I've never heard of any of those. Well, but they're all in the. In the they're all in. The, the old documents or older documents that Kevin had. Well, the, um, I guess we can talk about uh, the Industrial Devel Development Board was a board that was here when the interstate lead was here. Okay. And that, wasn't that the one? That's one. Uh, and, and they were um, the board that was sued because of interstate lead. Uh, when they came in, they said that, you know, uh, they sued the city, they sued the industrial development board. I, I don't know if I've got all the particulars exactly right. Uh, when they came in to audit the city, the city basically didn't have any money, or they couldn't figure out where they were going to get their money from, it was millions and millions of dollars. And in order to, um, I guess, protect the city, they kind of... Uh, Funded or whatever the uh, industrial development board, and that kind of what you understand. Just banned. No, no, it just kind of just sat there with no power, and they redid another board in its place. And I think that's the environmental. What you just say? Protection board. Environmental protection board and some other board. Well, he doesn't meet. Well, I know because it's really just a legal thing to try to get uh, to well, appease. I the, guess what. 
I'm, they need to I do away with it. I know we weren't going to start with this, but those are the kind of things we need. We just I need mean, to clean them up and get yeah, rid of them. We, don't right. want them. we I mean, this is something to me we've got to get a hold of is what do we have? What do we not need? What do we need? You know, and just whatever, by right. whatever process we've got to do it, do it. And some boards have are under control of the city. Some boards are incorporated under control of themselves. Correct. Correct. I see that. Uh, I don't think we can get rid of that industrial development board. We can still do it. We can but do we, it's it not active. No, no. But, but it was the reason for it being developed. <coughs> we, but that reason is uh, well, it still expired. It still has property. It still has it's property. And still does it? Property. Okay. Uh, so I'm dealing with it. Uh, I guess they still have the interstate lead property and uh, and well, and so the here it uh, says it has seven members. Fire flex property. It says it has seven members, six-year terms appointed by the municipal government body. So who is it? <laughs> there were no names. There were no names. I've heard that everybody had died off. <laughs> <laughs> a qualified elector and a member of the chamber of commerce. Well, uh, I think you did. Need to Jack ought to know something about that. So you I think, I think you probably have to keep the board as long as you got the land. Yeah, man, uh, It goes back to the city because of some of the legalities of the things that we had in place and we couldn't borrow no money or anything else that cost us. So that's an incorporated board. Mm -hmm. It's an incorporated board with no members. What good is that? <laughs> well, that's good. We'll have to put some members on it, but we're going to have to go but, back but to what they do. <laughs> I guess they tried to develop any. You know, I'd like for we do anything with boards. We need to get this thing straightened out. Figure out, what uh, figure out where we're going instead of go ahead and appointing new people all over the place and, and, and get, the, get what we need put in there and what we need to take that and get taken out. We're going to have to have some lawyers to figure all this stuff out. What we legally have to keep. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, see what we Whether got. we want it or not, think, we got to keep it. I think we just need to put more toilet on any boards right now until we get this right out. Yeah, we've got some boards we've got some boards that, 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 that we know so need to have got to have members that we know are operating according to the rules. Nothing. Well, we've done that before anyway. I mean, we, we, we let them operate right now with four men on park and recreation board. I mean, what's a month or two longer? I mean, there's one on the park and recreation board. We've got four members that they need. Right. But even that board needs clear direction of what you know what the what we expect out of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, go back to have your agenda. No, no. I, I was just trying to explain what you all talk where about? I got this. But those kind of boards, if they're incorporated, and we have to keep them for some reason, you know, if there's some boards that we can do away with, and y'all want to do away with them, then we need to. They're not incorporated, they're just under the city and we need to get rid of them. But you're not going to utilize them. That's right. I think what you need to do with an industrial development or just look back over the history of it and see why it's just laying up. One of us laying up. The problem is that we need to lay Well, we need members on it, yes. Somebody to answer any kind of a. I mean, we need to be able to say we fulfilled the letter of the law, even if they don't have a function. Well, I think if we're, I'm not an attorney, but if we're required by law to have a board and there's no members, I would say we're not meeting that law. That's what I would say. <laughs> yeah. Whether they meet or do whatever they have to do, we should at least have be able to say, here are the members. I think this Tri-County Board was uh, brought in place in the Inflation Industrial Development Board, wasn't it? Oh, we're not.
three commissions of the fine, the mental health guardian fine. Let's start on what we know what we're using. The historical commission, no, it's okay. Yeah, we appointed the member. The thing about you, it's okay, but the thing about it is, you don't have a list of who has served and what year of their term they're in. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna skip over them. I'm just saying the ones that we know are active boards. Remember, we put the lady on it. That I know, I know years, that. Yeah. It's, uh, but it's not this city. That's a, that's a. The library is an active multiple board. Multiple county. The trustees. That's an active board. CDA is an active board. Remember that? We put that lady on there. She gave Ed her resume. Yeah. Sandy. All right. So on the back page, the ones that we know are active boards, the library, the tree commission, the mental health board, the library, the tree commission, the library, 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 the I don't have the Board of Education. Okay, Board of Education obviously is active. Okay, but all that stuff at the bottom of the page, all that stuff at the bottom of the page is questionable, right? All four or five of them. We either need to fix them or... Did you say special care financing is... Care. I remember I'm sending this letter on that. So we can scratch that one. Well, you confirm it. Yeah, we'll confirm Let's it. confirm it. I'll put a question mark on it. There's no downtown redevelopment authority. Mm -hmm. See, those all three have the same terms, so that that's kind of weird. I mean, the same number of members and the same terms. And so which is correct, industrial development or tri-county industrial development? That's something else. It's correct, tri-county. I think, if I have to remember right, tri-county, industrial development board replaced the tri-county board. I'm just going to error those and we'll put questions. So that's actually what leads industrial development. It has a lot to do with that super problem. That's what all of that's why it all got messed up. And that's why it got messed up. Uh, off the record. <laughs> no such thing. There's no such thing, but I won't say nothing about it. <laughs> well, it expired this year. About environmental. Does it complete? The super fun? Mm -hmm. It expired this year. Does it complete? Go over? Mm -hmm. I don't think it does. The 25 year. Um, Statue limitation going away on us. Uh. But it hasn't been 25 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has. Now, I haven't been on council in 25 years. It happened during that time. You've been on here, what, 20? What, 20? Mm -hmm. We got nothing that expired. Just, let's just, I was going to say, let's put a little mark by those two, the IDB and the Tri-County IDB, and let's see what's what with those two. Downtown redevelopment, we think that's just, is that, but it's not an incorporated thing, it's something created by the city? I don't know if it ever was. It had no members that I could find. It had. <laughs> Environmental Protection Board, we don't have that. So basically all five of those we need to check and see what we can get rid of. What we have to keep. Well, let's check why. Well, but what I'm saying is all of those are things we really See, it had 12 members. The council appointed 10. The mayor, too, and one ex officio. That was probably required by EPA. 
That's what I'm saying. All of those need to be How about this Keith Lee's beautiful commission? 15 members. The mayor, director of public works, as an exit officio, three year terms. Council point two, mayor point four. They gave, remember they gave the yard, they have signs up all over town. Well, they used to advertise in the 70s, you know, and we just keep money beautiful. Green and clean. That's right, and that was, the gosh, them people were probably. I mean, they were giving signs out not that many years ago. They're still on the line. So who does that now? Nobody does the sign. Well, we need to look at what we got yeah. and see how we can trim it down yeah. and make more of them. See, the park and rec boards, those numbers I got, nine members, one council, one Keith Lee's beautiful member, one tree commission member. See, that, that was the description of that board. So out of the nine, one was supposed to be a council member, one was supposed to be a Keith Lee's beautiful, one was a tree commission, and then the other six were appointed. appointed. I think when they created the that, they took a page out of Birmingham, uh, Keep uh, Birmingham Beautiful Commission, where in Birmingham they came up and started. If you got a business license or something like that, you had to plant a tree. And if it was in an area that you had uh, scrubs and stuff like that, so they put a uh, tree commission in the uh, beautification. So they were trying to take a page out of this. It worked all right, but you know, we know they get the development that we was looking at. It just like one of those. So we need to either do this correctly, or we need to do by ordinance change. Change this. Right. And see, just on the other boards, I just I know that the. It's got to be that some of the appointment times are wrong. And we don't even have years on some. We just have um, the date. Right. The date, like July 15th, but no year. At least I couldn't find it. Well, we know, let's look at the Zoning Board of Adjustments. Jerry Noel and Tony Hughes were put on as full members at the same time we put the supernumeraries on. Right. Because they had been the supernumeraries, right. and they got bumped up to full members. So that should be 10, and not September. It should have been 2010, whenever McDivitt and Vandenberg were put on. Because we did all of that at one time. And Michael Dyer was appointed in 2010. Mm -hmm. He was appointed separate. But then Noel and Hughes, we talked about that, how they had been supernumeraries, and they had actually attended more meetings than the regular members. So was the date that they was put on on the eighth year? Is that the year that important to say? Well, I don't know. I guess. I, that's only, that's and that was that they was they just a date that was by their name. Right? They had never been full board members. We made them full board members when we went in two thousand and ten. Who was the the man you knew that was got in bad health and he couldn't do it anymore? Mr. Peak. He came off, and Tony and Jerry, one of them took his place. Mm -hmm. We just did that early last so year. Well, we just spot them, give them the 10, and start from there. You, know? <laughs> you have to do it. You yeah, need a month and a day. You have to have my statue, you have to put them on different years. Well, I understand that, but you can see, clearly see, that we're not keeping them. I do that either. Well, we do have, we can, I mean, it we'll doesn't. Get, it did not say that you we'll were. Your, it said your terms were three we years. That. It said your terms were three years, but did not say staggered. Um, typically, you stagger your first staggered board. Well, on different, some of them are staggered. Like the CDA is three and two. You do right. three, you know, and then you do two, and. Some of the, there's two uh, positions opening up. I'll have to find out who they are. We'll have to go back and do the lineage on it. Uh, we had it done at one time. I don't know where it is, but 
There's two coming up on it in April. Because it's been two years. No, it's been, they're serving unexpired terms or they've served the length of time. The two so, new ones, I think, were appointed 11 12 2008, and that was Brad and Dan, wasn't it? No, actually. Yeah, we no, did four of them because we yeah. had been so long and they weren't really operating. We just reappointed them. Tim on was appointed by the old council mm -hmm. not, not long before we took office. Right. And then we reappointed the other four because we couldn't find any kind of rhyme or reason. Well, they weren't on there. Dan was, Dan, and, and Dr. Carl Murray was, and Brad and Brad were. Brad and um, Brad were there. Because we had two and see, I don't have two open. on here either. We had two openings because the people had stepped down. down. So, <coughs> I guess by, hopefully by the next meeting we'll have the lineage on the terms if you're either serving the... <coughs> and where are you going to find it? We found it. You have to go back through the books. That's what I did. That's where this came from. You went back through all the uh, uh, minutes. <coughs> you, gave, you gave me that green box and a, a binder. No, no, what we had to do on the CDA was go all back to the inception and go through the appointments and go through like every minute of every year. And, and we'll find it. I'll write the lineage out for you so y'all know it's right. Or appointments and resolutions. I looked at a white, white match, white match. This is a little joke. But I actually went through the, the minutes from the <coughs> ones back as far as we can go. I can come up there and do that. Yeah. And you can find them if you do that. Go through them. I'm just telling you, it's a good time, and I can come and sit and do, go look for books and agendas. Yeah, yeah, and that's how you have to do it. You have to go back to when they were uh, when they were incorporated, and then go through that like that. And um, tells the way it was kept up with. But we had to do that on a couple boards to find them because uh, there was questions about it, and that's what she had to do. But we'll try to get the. I tell you, well, there's something rational, rational about the the years. Some of them six years, some of them three. Well, you, well, that's whatever what you call that. Yeah, there's rationale. Could you just not put them all on five years, rotate them out every two or something? Because it goes to the next administration has to have they have certain, you know, uh, goes by. You're not really allowed to put them all on for your administration. The next administration's got to got to be staggered. Where some of them are, you know, like with the old administration, some with the new administration, some will be for the future administration to keep them where you don't have total control over. Them. That's if you why look at like probably that. when these were originated, it probably says the first board will have. They stack them in the beginning. The when first year, because when they started the school board, they drew for terms. Right. Was that not how they did it? Yeah. One got a one year, one got a two year, one right. got a three year. They drew for them. Right. And then after that, because they would be coming off at different times, then they all from then on had, what is it, a four year term? I think so, yeah. So, and I know I, um, it might have been Linda Hendricks drew the one year, <coughs> and she served the one year and came up for reappointment. And then I think Jan Stone went on in her place. And Jan got a four year term. Yeah. It just worked its way out. Yeah. So um, most boards, when they're originated, do that. They either draw for it or they have some method of staggering the very first board because you don't want all five members to come off at the same time. You'd have no continuity right. there. Well, on the Adjustments. Everybody gets three year appointments. If everybody quit yeah. or get started up, they'll all give leave after three years. No, they're they're staggered. They're supposed to be staggered. They are. But because we had so many come off this last time, right. we had we had some. You can't help when you have resignations. I mean, if you've got a couple of resignations or something, and you have to put two people on at the same time. But if they're feeling an they still try. try. They still should just well, finish I think it out. What we need to do before we start. 
every border form of the months would be the same. Unless it's still filling the time. Somebody else of the months off, then we need to check and see why. Well, see, I have one is June 1st, 03, one is October 12th. I mean, that's what I found in the document. And Andy should have been in November, because he was appointed when we went on. And, should have been and I could have got that wrong. I could have been 11 7. See, it's supposed to be six year terms for everybody, but the council member, the mayor, and we, everybody else is six years. We can get, I can get all that. So after you go we can find everybody. Yeah, that. I guess the one. Thank 
So, that fixes it. Let me ask a question I should know, or probably already forgot. If you're on the tree commission, you still sit on another board. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I thought. Does control money or anything like that? It's not policy making the money or, any, or direct anything that has influence, and you can do it. So, the library, Most of these com commission, the commission, the historical society, those all go far.
actually, I was, I was named for a four-year term. You're the longest, term, longest serving person on there. That's where was that information? I'll I've have never to get seen it for you. I didn't want prepared for all of this. I often brought it. I don't really care. You know, I don't right. have to I know that, I just, that Pat Sewell was the first one to come off, and that was last mm -hmm. year. And, and Dr. Carl comes off this year. This year. Well, no. Twelve. You came off two years after that, after this administration. Okay. And uh, I had, it's in the incorporation paper. Well, we had asked the board attorney, or the one that worked with us, to get that information. They never could come up with that. So, I can get it for you. I don't need it. But you're the longest serving person. I, know I was, that for just, a I was fact. just curious. Put your director 
director's got to be in there somewhere. He's got to be, basically, the director's got to be a head of that park board. Well, I think we got away from uh, doing it right, and they started getting into that. Uh, what's this other deal we got? Yeah, but what's that called? Lady Q Sports. Yeah, well, what now? Well, they pulled it out, the park and rec, divided it, I mean, you know, separated it to Lady Q Sports. Tried to work two different entities. That was, that was done years ago, right, too. Right. Ron Whitehead did that on the yeah. president. But what the, in most cities is only part recreation board would be the athletic director would be over that board. Right. You don't have like a president right. anymore, you have a director. Right. And you have board members. Right. That's the way it should be on the, the city of Leeds, too. Right. We got a fence in. Well, I'll work on it. You'll yeah. we'll look at it. Yeah. And, you know, and with, with that way they can throw all the money that comes in and the director will get checks from the city pay for that way you know where everything's going. Uh, you're right.
you know the Board of Education has the one up this year? Yes. Mr. Kyle's got one coming up. And uh, is it April? When is that one? April, we appoint. March, I think. April, and then they take off. Like June 1st or May 31st, something like that. Yeah. 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 See, she was feeling Jamie um, Hilton's time. We appoint in March, isn't it, Johnny? That's what I thought. And then they don't take the seat, though, until the end of the school year. That's the way they've been doing it. Yes. It's got to be March, April, and then no, it, it comes, it's got something funky in there. It, it is. Does. April, it's you got to appoint it one month and the next month they take it's charge. Because remember, Jan school. resigned one month early. Yeah, remember? something mm -hmm. weird. Because she didn't want to be. And then Jamie resigned. Yeah. No, but I had to appoint Jamie twice. Yeah, because she, she came in, uh, she resigned like in March when Kathy took her spot. Jan is Jamie. Jan resigned um, two months early because they were picking the superintendent. She didn't think she ought yeah, to be involved. There was something, but there's something about May and April and May. Yeah. Doing yeah. Chad is fulfilling Jamie Blair's uh, four-year term or five-year term, whatever it is. Is it five years? Five. I think it's four years because Greg Dawkins was appointed by Price just prior to us taking office. And he comes off next year. Uh, he come, he come, yours comes off, and then yours comes off. I mean, that's it. This is the same structure. Is the library board the only one governed by the Code of Alabama? No. The water board is? The water board is governed by the Code, plus in their incorporation papers. Commercial Development Authority is governed by the code plus their, I mean the law plus their incorporation papers. The zoning board is governed by, the planning commission is governed by the uh, state of Alabama. And the zoning board is, is governed by that too. Okay. Um, Does the state code say what month their, their terms start in? I think so. I'm going to have it. And you just got the one with the library board? I own the draw to the library. Section of the library. Doesn't have other boards in there? Well, it may have, but I don't know where okay. it would be. I just brought it up. All right, if anybody, President Oprah or whatever they want to do, wants to come help on this at some point, I would appreciate it when we have the three. <laughs> uh, but I can do as much of it as I can. I'll be the main one. I can go Wednesday and, uh, if you. Are you going to be there Wednesday? No. That's right, you can come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be there. Well, yeah, well, I'll be there. Well, I if you leave me something else. We'll get an idea of what's going on within two weeks where we're at. I, mean, I can get down. Yeah, this ain't going to be like a thing that's going to sink the city of Leeds. No, but uh, it's been dragging on forever. So we'll let it just build up more. Because uh, it needs to be on the website. And then as changes, you just go in and change, and everybody already knows what. And I think another problem that we have, and uh, people that sit on the certain boards and attend to this, there's been less desire to serve because they're unpaid and unappreciated for this. Really? Most of them. And so uh, people are.
trustees on how long they can serve. It says the law is silent in regards to how often an individual member may be appointed or how long they may serve. But it's my understanding that the city ordinance can't lessen the restrictions of this, but we can add more restrictions. Is that not? Yes, and we added the restriction that they can't serve more than two terms to, to any of our boards. So, so the two terms. That's it. Consecutive terms. Two consecutive terms. So we, we need to know when he went on. And if he served two full terms, then he cannot go back on. So you got notice the Barman, you know, the guy on the Barman Water Works Board, uh, Jim uh, Lowry, they have a rule you can serve a two consecutive terms. But they decided to reappoint him because they said he came on six months after the, uh, remember that? And I got they created that. Uh, yeah. And that's what I was thinking too. And uh, it came on six months after it, uh, he was supposed to. But said, "Oh, well, he can serve another term." He didn't serve two full terms. Well, uh, he didn't get put back on. But anyway, you know, there's the intent. You can't serve two two terms. Anyway. I mean, after that, uh, somebody else should have a shot at it. Bottom five, for the time being, I'm waiting on them to decide. We'll let the, somebody look into those, the attorneys look into them as far as their membership, their lineage, all that stuff. Uh, I can't get all that done. Those silent boards and stuff, I can't figure all that out. I'll probably have to go back 40 years on some of those. Yeah, I know. That's a problem. say one thing there yes. when we talk about these board appointments. Uh, might be out of line, but I'm going to say it anyway. Heck, I've never been, I always got to get crooked in the road anyway. I would hope that the mayor and council would think about reappointment <coughs> and remain in the water board intact. Uh, the revenues are up. Uh, they're making money. Good job, and um, I think with the addition of Bill Morris a few years ago, it's changed the complexion of the water board. And I think that they're doing a good job. And for me personally, I've known Jack Corson for well, probably about ten more years than I want to care about. He was, I think, a mayor when I got my arm hurt working for the city. Uh, <clears throat> He knows about this city probably much as anybody on this in this town, and you know he's a valuable asset to the farm board. And I would just tell you, I wish that y'all would consider keeping him on the water board. That's all. Right. 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 Well, the question Second full term. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get, so you get three of them. I would catch it or 